Yo, what up YouTube? This video is about talent stacks. What are they? How do you build them? And how can you use talent stacks to become whoever you want to be? So when web developers build applications, they build them with a set of internet technologies they call stacks. Now these Technology stacks work together to run different parts of the application. Successful careers, businesses, and projects are also built on a similar concept. But instead of using technology stacks, like web developers, these successful professionals use skills that they learned over long periods of time to build talent stacks. So what is a talent stack and how does it work, right? So there's basically two ways to build your skills the Rubik's Cube way and the Lego set way. Oh. <laughs> All right, the first way is the Rubik's Cube way. Now this is a Rubik's Cube, and a Rubik's Cube has a very specific set of parts that work together to do one thing really well repeatedly. Now a Rubik's Cube is really hard to put together uh, because all the parts have to be equally as good and in any of these you know parts Break the whole thing no longer works and the whole thing breaks right <laughs> If you wanted to build one of these things from scratch It would probably take you a very long time because well all the things have to be very precise and they had to work in a, You know a very formulaic way All right, the second way is the Lego set way and Legos kind of work exactly the opposite of a Rubik's Cube. They're made of general parts uh, that you can use in very non-specific ways to create lots of different things. So these things have you know multiple, per multiple jobs, right? You can repurpose them to do lots of different things. Now, using, using a talent stack to build your career is kind of like building your career with Legos. Or you have all these different talents that you can kind of put together and stack them on top of each other in the way that will be most useful to you, right? So you can do whatever you want with these, right? As long as you have the right brick, you can build anything you want. And that's kind of how a talent stack works. It's very similar to a Lego. There are two basic ways to really make a difference in this world and succeed. And here's success is not just financial, but just success in life. One way is to be insanely good at one thing. Let's say Tiger Woods, you know, right. he's good at one thing. But you really have to be about one of the best in the world, depending on the thing you're doing, to really make a dent, right? But the other way you can do it is the way that I've done it, which is I've compiled a, a set of complementary skills, and I'm not really the best in the world at anything, right? So uh, if you were to go into you know, any crowded room, you could find a better artist than me. It would be easy, because I, I just don't have much artistic For the skill. sake of argument, I'll let you be self-denigrating, but go ahead. Well, I think anybody who studies cartoons would look at the page and say, well, there's the worst artist on the page. So, yeah, there's no, no false right. humility in right. any of that. Um, I've never taken a writing course, but I know how to make short, pithy sentences, so I'm you know, good at that. I have a lot of business experience, because I for 16 years I worked in the corporate world. So I had something to draw upon, which is you know the fodder for this trip. Um, and you could go down the line of you know what it takes to be a cartoonist, business skills, for example. You know, I uh, have my MBA from from Cal, and those things all just work together really well. But I'm not great at any of them. I'm not. I'm not Warren Buffett. My business skills, but I have enough to do this thing, and they, they just work together well. Now yeah, this lovely image of a, you stack this talent on this talent on this talent on this talent, and you end up with something that's pretty impressive. Right. And then the trick is that they have to be complementary skills. Right. All right. So now that now that we know what a talent stack is. How do we, as people who have ADHD or dyslexia, take advantage of our cognitive gifts to exploit this talent stack idea, right? How do we use it to our advantage? So one of the things I love to talk about on this channel is how, you know, there isn't that many ADHD people in the world and there isn't that many people who have dyslexia. So all the systems, all the systems and processes that exist are not designed for us. They're designed for people who don't look at the world in the way that we do, right? So. How do we take advantage of that? So the first thing it's, that's cool about this idea is it's about building our own career path, right? So the idea is you collect a bunch of talents and you figure out a way to solve a problem in the real world by stacking those together in a unique way that only you or a few other people can do. And therefore you create sort of a monopoly onto yourself 
because you're the only person who has these unique set of abilities and experiences and who also happens to be able to solve these problems, right? So it lends itself to creating systems for yourself, which is exactly what we need to do as ADHD and dyslexic people. The second thing is the idea of getting a job versus creating a job or a career for yourself. Now, when you go through you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, and college, the end point for most people is to get a, you know, a stable career that'll pay you bills, right? And help you live a good life. Now, that's a good model for normal people because most jobs are created for normal people, but if you have ADHD and or dyslexia, I think a better strategy would be to go through all those steps, you know, go through elementary, middle school, high school, and then eventually college. But in the in the meantime, while you're going through those those steps, be building towards not getting a job, but creating a job for yourself, right? So building a talent stack throughout all those stages. And when you come out at the end, you can kind of think about the problems that exist when you when you get out of college or even high school and work towards creating a solution with your unique talent, talent stack. So that's the second way. To be constantly building a stack of talents throughout your education that's personal, right? It's not what a teacher or a professor tells you to learn. It's not what your degree wants you to have in order to complete it. Even though you should be doing that too just be, because you want to get that certificate or whatever. But you should be creating like a personalized education plan for yourself to build certain talent stacks so when you get out, you have uniqueness and unique set of skills as well as experiences that the market will be like, wow, this is amazing. This guy has all these things or this girl has all these things that we need, right? And you can, you can create your own job or career, which is solving a specific problem with your own talent stack. Look, the third thing is you want to get to a place where you're eventually creating art. I'm not talking about drawing or painting or you know filmmaking or anything like that. I'm, I'm talking about the thing that really energizes you and the thing that makes you you know wake up in the morning like really happy every day. And getting to that place might be really hard, right? Because you have to invent something, you have to create something, you have to do something that other people haven't done before by using all your experiences and your talent stack in a unique way and that might take a lot of experimentation and failure so it can take you a long time so in the meantime you're probably going to be working a job to earn a living for yourself right so in my case I'm a, I'm a science teacher it's something I love doing but I chose that because I think being a teacher will help me develop some of the talent stacks that I've already been trying to develop even before I became a teacher so one of the main talent stacks that I think I've been able to develop in the last four years as a seventh grade science teacher is I've been able to figure out ways to break down complicated things, complicated ideas, concepts in a way that's really easily digestible even by you know 12 year old kids. And I think that's a valuable skill that a lot of people don't have and that skill is applicable in multiple, multiple talent stacks, right? So it's something that I have that I can utilize with other things. You know, another thing that you, you want to think about when you're choosing your job is to think about getting a job that, you know, minimally covers your expenses, but then gives you the ability to practice very difficult things, like ability to acquire hard skills that you can add to your existing talent stack. You want to be choosing jobs that give you, you know, time wealth, where you'll have time to go home and not be tired and work on the actual skills that you be, you'll be using to create your job, right? Not the one you're working at, but the one you will be creating for yourself. Um, you know, teaching is, for me, teaching is the ideal place to be because I have summers off and I also get to practice something that is essential for all the talent stacks that, and all the future opportunities that I will be looking at, which is, you know, communication skills and how to manage people and how to teach ideas to people in a way that, and is also entertaining, uh, informative, and seems effortless. And that's something I'm practicing as a teacher. But so when you choose when you choose your career, you want to kind of think about the things that you will be practicing in you know in the job that you'll be doing to get money, right? Another thing that you might want to think about when you're getting a job is to think about the relationships that this job will allow you to make with other people, um, make all the, the connections that you will be able to make with the people or, or, you know that's associated with this career field that later on you can you know take advantage of when you're actually building your art, right? Because this is what it's all about. You use your talent stack to build your art. You use your talent stack to create valuable things 
that are unique to you that the people are in the world will appreciate. You know, that's that's it for this uh, week, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that you know, subscribe button. If you have a question, just leave it in the comments. I'll be answering questions uh, whenever you guys have them. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye. Love you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you guys to subscribe. If you like this video, you can hit the like button to support the channel. And let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Thanks again. See you next time.